What's up, everybody? AJ Kirsch here, the voice of Buzz in WWE 2K19. It's Friday, which means it's time... Not bonus content. It's just content now. I'm so used to saying it's time for some bonus content because WWE 2K Fabe would drop Monday and Wednesday, but we're done with WWE 2K Fabe. It's not a thing anymore. Uh, if you want to go back and check out episodes of WWE 2K Fabe, the link to the entire playlist, all 23 episodes, is in the description of this video. That's if you want the inside perspective and behind-the-scenes stories surrounding the voiceover and motion capture of WWE 2K19. But we are on to bigger and better things on my YouTube channel. It's Friday, which means it's time for just straight-up content right off the bat i want you to hit that thumbs up button subscribe and turn on notifications so you know exactly when new videos drop social media and merchandise links are in the description of this video and if you use code wwe2k19 at checkout on my merchandise store you get 20 percent off your entire order shirts ship worldwide i've got over a dozen designs t-shirts and tank tops in sizes and styles for men and women so i would appreciate it if you checked out my merchandise page give me a follow on social media facebook twitter instagram i am very active on all three now usually it's bonus content but again we're moving on to just regular content i put a quick poll up on twitter at aj kirsch because i couldn't decide between two super old pieces of footage uh, of me, super awkward, super green in the wrestling business. The one that lost was the second match of my entire career. The one that won is the oldest footage I have of me bumping around a wrestling ring. I'm growing my hair long, so it's super just like poofy and awkward. Um, you know, I, I was just cleared by my trainer to be put in this kind of 50% speed quasi match environment. So really it's just me bumping, feeding, selling, not really good at any of it yet because like I said, I was only a, uh, I'm only a few months in to training at this point, so I didn't know anything about anything. And I watched this before I, I started putting this video together and I just cringed at some of the stuff that I saw. So cringe along with me. It's going to be a blast. It's from the school where I got my start in professional wrestling. Pro Championship Wrestling, their school, the Work Farm, is still going strong in Oroville, California, which is about an hour north of Sacramento. So if you are anywhere near the Central California area, the Sacramento area, check out the Pro Championship Wrestling Work Farm. Uh, they crank out some top shelf talent. I am proud to come from PCW. And it's kind of funny because their colors were green and black. And BCW, the fictitious promotion in WWE 2K19, are also green and black. Their colors are green and black. So kind of art imitating life in that respect. But anyway, if you want to see a 20 year old, super awkward, super uncoordinated, super unathletic, super like not skin, no body at all, AJ Kirsch bump and feed and get knocked around a little bit. Lucky you, because that is today's not bonus content. That is today's straight up content. Enjoy. All right, and here we are at the PCW Work Farm, originally in Yuba City, California, and look at this kid. My God, look at the hair, growing it long because I wanted to be Shawn Michaels. Uh, oh my God, baggy white shirt, cut off sweatpants, ladies and gentlemen, because I was just that cool when I was like 20 years old. Uh, and there's my trainer, MPT, Mr. Primetime, Zach Reeb. And a uh -oh. Uh -oh. stalling vertical suplex on the greener than goose shit, AJ Kirsch. Into the cover, hooks the far leg, and there's a kick out. And I was probably, I think this was before I broke my ankle. And I broke my ankle six weeks into training, I think. So, oh god, biggest bump I've ever taken at that point. Dead. Just dead selling it. Oh my god. I can't. There's a uh, bear head on the outside. Bear is actually his name. I believe that is uh, Alex on the other corner there with his arms on the ropes. And uh, as I said, Pro Championship Wrestling, the work farm's still a thing. Now it's in Oroville, California. I didn't get off the ropes. I didn't know he wanted me to stay there. And he gave me a stop. And if I remember correctly, he had a couple choice words for me as he picked me up. Now at this point, like I said, less than six. Oh god. Oh god. Less than six, I don't know what he's trying to do there. I guess that was a face buster of sorts, but I have no idea what I'm doing. Again, I'm just I'm just kind of bumping at this point. Uh, you know, he's, I'm not get, I don't have I don't think I actually learned any offensive maneuvers yet. I'm literally just bumping around and getting used to uh, 
Oh, and there's a nip up. Puffing my chest out to my trainer. Just being like, what do you got, man? There's an angle slam something. And again, I really didn't know. Oh, there's a leg drop. I was rolling over. Didn't know to stay put again. There's a hook of the near leg. And uh, there, um, there's another nip up. And a kick to the face. And they look at that wag of the finger saying, no, 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 kid. You got to learn when to sell. You gotta learn when to sell. And he got me good with that super kick. I was, you know, there was a message behind that kick. And <laughs> I'm dead. Just now I'm like, okay, so I, get, I get what you mean by selling. I don't know what else to do, so there's a low blow. And a quick tag out. Who did I just tag? Who did I just tag? Let's see. Joe Thorburn, big guy there in red. Um, he and I started training at about the same time. There's a bulldog. I don't think Joe knew it was a bulldog, but nonetheless, that's kind of the fun, I guess, of, of throwing around somebody who doesn't really know what's going on. And, and look at <laughs> Joe with that look on his face. Just kind of watching them learn. That's the fun. Not that it's unsafe. It is somewhat unsafe to do stuff if you don't necessarily know what's going on, but... Uh, always trusted MPT. He always took great care of us. It was a Greco-Roman knuckle lock, time-tested wrestling maneuver. Uh, Joe Thorburn had my second match ever against Joe Thorburn at All Pro Wrestling at the time at the historic garage in Hayward, California. So um, that was when my hair was actually super long. So let's see a little spot here maybe. Oh, God, and a clubbing blow and a quick lesson for PT. Rope steps the clothesline and boot to the face, chest, upper half of the body. There's a lateral press and a kick out. Uh, Joe Thorburn wrestled as Brett Kilburn um, when he and I worked at APW in November of 2005. It was a, even though it was you know not a televised event, they still called it a dark match. It was a pre-show match, basically a look at both Joe and I to see who. Uh, See if there was any interest in bringing any of us back the following month. And they brought me back the next month to have a match against Mr. Primetime, the trainer. One of the favorite matches of my entire career. Top go. ten for sure. Um, oh God, there I am on the outside. Look at me with the hair, chewing gum like a freaking cow. Uh, don't remember what that woman's name is. on the. Oh, God, pay attention. Don't remember what her name is. Um, I don't think she stuck around too long. And there's a choke slam from Jordan Dalbert. Oh my God! Doesn't know his own strength. There's an arrogant cover too, and right shoulder up. And again, just look at me—the oversized shirt. I had cut-off sweatpants. I thought that was those were my gym shorts of choice. Oh God, is he tagging me in? Oh, what do you say, Joe Thorburn? Oh, there's a tag. Now you got two guys in here who are super. I'm like asking permission. I definitely made the right call, being like, are we allowed to? Roll around a little bit, letting the inmates run the asylum. And Joe, uh, if you're go. watching this, oh, and Joe tags out. What a coward. And I'm like, ah, you suck, man. <laughs> playing the cowardly heel. Even though now I'm playing the, I'm like, oh, he's mad. Big guy's mad. Oh, there's a boot right to the sternum, and down goes Joe Thorburn. Joe, uh, if you're watching this, um, congratulations on Samoa Joe and AJ Styles being the biggest things in WWE. Well, two of the biggest things in WWE right now. Look at this. Big guy Alex throwing some punches. Joe immediately saying, fuck that. Oh, my God. Look at them run the ropes. This is the best ever. DDT. That looks that looked halfway decent. Oh, God. Watching just green guys run the ropes and bump around. and I mean, we're all just kind of still playing wrestler at this point. We barely. Oh, God. He landed. <laughs> <laughs> Landed on his face yeah, with that leg drop. Oh, don't you dare. Yeah, he is. Elbow drop. Joe knew to at least get his arm closer to his body. Joe and Alex were friends. Uh, folds his arms up like the Undertaker, and Zach's like, get that Mark shit out of here. Oh, man. What a blast to watch this back. Look at me. My hair's all poofing out. I'm growing it long. I'm super green. What is it going on the TV on the outside? There's always something happening. It was either a match or tape happening on the outside. And, oh, God, suplex. Oh, God, how awkward is that? And there's a stop to the sternum. Another one. 
And again, just all of us just wanting to play wrestler, just wanting to be what we saw on TV. He was probably sizing him up for rock bottom or something. There's a, oh God. Trash bag wrestling, if you're, if anybody's watching this, I'm sure they are just loving it. Loving every second of it. The cut off shirts, the shorts. It's not even, oh God, running the ropes. And he just plows into him. And Alex just gets the, that wasn't even a tag. Oh, I thought he was like moving to the outs. Oh, Jesus. And Joe just throws him. Like an adult sized Taz. Huge show of strength from Joe Thorne. And in comes, I think that is Scotty Aboot. Uh, did the Canadian gimmick. And Scotty, probably one of the best wrestlers I've ever been in the ring with. Uh, amazing amateur wrestler, super athlete. Strong, quick, uh, amazingly athletic. Um, just one of the, you know, we were in good hands when we were in the ring. With, look at that bridge. Just a thing of beauty. We were in good hands when we were in the ring with Scotty Aboot. And me clapping on the outside because I don't know what else to do. I'm, like, terrified of getting the tag at this point. I'm, like, lucky to have escaped with my life after no-selling my trainer and then having him kick me in the face. Oh, God. I'm not even filling out the clothing I'm wearing. This, so this had to be like 2003, late 2003. Oh, and a low blow. Again, when in doubt, low blow. It's, it, you know, what else are you going to do when you don't know shit about shit? Because we're almost at the end of the video here. Here I come, flying out of nowhere. And there's a neck breaker. Bumping after the fact. Hooks the near leg and a kick out. I don't know when this ended, but man, what a blast to watch this back. Me not knowing anything. Ah, oh, DDT! Stuck me like an exclamation point. Wow, was that as painful for you to watch as it was for me? Hopefully it wasn't. I don't wanna I don't wanna scare away my audience, but uh man, just instantly transported back to a time when I didn't know anything about anything. Uh I had no idea who I was as a performer. I wouldn't for several years. I'd say I was you know, it wasn't really until Hood Slam and this Bros of Joe Brody gimmick that I really blossomed as, as a performer. Um, but I appreciate you, you know, squirming along with me and watching that footage from 14, 15 years ago. Uh, if you haven't yet, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you know exactly when new videos drop. I will see you right here on Monday with my first kind of vlog on... My thoughts on the current product, specifically Becky Lynch and why she's the best thing to happen to not only women's wrestling, but the WWE in a very, very long time. Shows to plug. It's Friday. I've got shows coming up. I am so ready to get back on a stage and in the ring and, and do what I love to do. So tonight, Friday, January the 4th, Hood Slam kicks off first Friday of every Friday in 2019. Hood Slam is now every Friday at the Oakland Metro Opera House. So tonight, we kick it off with Hood Slam Schism, Oakland Metro Opera House, doors at 8, show at 9, door, uh, tickets available at the door, tickets also available at the link in the description of this video, but it's 21 and over, don't bring your effing kids. And then Saturday, January the 5th, Virgil Flynn Productions in North Highlands, California, right outside Sacramento, that is a family-friendly show, crowning moment, going down Saturday, January the 5th, tickets available at, in the link in the description of this video, tickets also available at the door. Social media and merchandise links are in the description of this video. I appreciate it if you check it out. And until next time, I'm AJ Kirsch. Take care, y'all.